special thanks to Patreon support Transfighter 8 for making this video possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Gertubofu here bringing you another Minecraft World War II vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the Mitsubishi J2M. Before we get started, this is my first tutorial recording in my new apartment, so if there is a little bit of an echo or anything like that, obviously I will probably hear that post-recording, um, but just want to go ahead and throw that out there ahead of time in case any of you guys did hear a little bit of a difference in the audio. Um, I'm hoping it's not too drastic as it's not anything too different from where I was before, but um, yeah, we'll have to just see how it goes and play by ear, so I do apologize for an echo. Uh, but anyways, the Mitsubishi J2M uh, Raiden. Um, is a single-engine land-based fighter aircraft used by the Imperial Japanese Navy Air Service in World War II. The Allied reporting name was Jack. So yeah, uh, the J-2M Raiden, a very interesting little aircraft here. I really wasn't actually too familiar with this or really even knew of its existence until actually recording this tutorial. Um, but yeah, pretty interesting uh, aircraft and uh, was one of the later war, or I say later war, but one of the kind of mid-war um, type of aircraft uh, with its first place first flight being in 1942 um, but yeah really interesting aircraft and a really cool one gonna be a great addition to your uh, Japanese military um, you know aircraft capabilities and all that stuff uh, overall really nice looking aircraft and pretty good detail uh, before we go and jump in to take a look at it, I want to go and give special links to Patreon supporter Trench Federate for making this tutorial possible. If you guys are interested in supporting the channel where you guys already do, feel free to check out my Patreon page. Link is always in my video descriptions. Or you can go and pledge a small amount to the channel every month and in doing so earn a vehicle request you're choosing depending on which tier you choose to sub to. It uh, really helps support the work I do on my channel and is obviously greatly appreciated. So definitely uh, feel free to check it out. Again, link is always in my video descriptions. Uh, but let's go ahead and dive in and take a look here at this model. Um, as this model is the only in the in-flight model only, uh, you can see here we do not have any landing gear for it. Um, starting off, with, we have obviously the props up here in the front. A uh, bit of a different aircraft here with a four-prop type configuration. Not something you see too commonly, uh, especially with Japanese aircraft. As we work our way back, uh, we have basically the color scheme here, kind of based off the War Thunder model. So kind of a whole black tip nose, some yellow kind of... Um, lightning bolts that go through it, uh, the nickname for the Japanese, Raiden, meaning lightning bolt. Um, so that's kind of cool there. Um, obviously the traditional Japanese green and white color scheme here with the yellow leading edges, uh, very nice clean design for it. And on the bottom here we do have an external fuel tank mounted um, on the bottom of the aircraft as well. So overall pretty cool design I think and going to make an awesome addition to any of your uh, World War II scenarios involving uh, the Imperial Japanese. Anyways, let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer. Alright guys, so going ahead and move into our first layer here. We're going ahead and start off with layer number one. Uh, <clears throat> Alright guys, going ahead and move into our first layer. We're going ahead and start off with layer number two. Now we're starting off layer two because it gives us a better basis for the aircraft and the first layer is just basically adding on the drop tank on the bottom, which is actually kind of an optional feature you don't have to include. Um, but we'll talk about that a little bit later. Um, to kind of go ahead and uh, move into this, I want to go ahead and quickly mention if you're completely new to my aircraft tutorials, the way I like to structure these tutorials, I like to do half on camera, half off. What this means is I'll be building the entire center line of the aircraft and uh, on camera, and then the entire right side will be up to you guys to take the right side and copy it over to the left side. This aircraft is completely symmetrical, so whatever we see on one side will be done to the other. So just keep that in mind. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and kind of move into this build. So to begin with, uh, we're going to place down a smooth quartz top slab. Now this is a top slab and not a half slab, so make sure that that is correct. After that, we're going to go ahead and place down a item frame with a black bin in the item frame coming off that slab toward the direction you want the front of the aircraft. So we're going to have the front of our aircraft facing that way there. So we're going to be going ahead and placing down our item frame on this side with a black bin in the item frame rotated sideways. If you're on uh, Java Edition, you can go ahead and also place a birchwood sign over the slab. Uh, in the item frame. However, if you're on bedrock, you do not have access to that ability. After that's done, we want to go ahead and then go back from the smooth quartz slab with a second smooth quartz slab back, an iron trap door, come off that slab, and then another smooth quartz top slab. At this point right here, you can choose if you do want to add the drop tank to the bottom of the aircraft, so as you can see right there, where we go ahead and place down two end rods kind of facing downwards like so. If you do not want to include these, then you don't have to. Uh, you're just going to place down two smooth quartz top slabs. After this, we want to go ahead and place down a smooth quartz top slab, and then two iron trapdoors like that for the back there, and that's going to be your center line. 
Move it out to the side. So you're going to place down a birchwood sign on the side of this slab. We then want to place down a smooth quartz top slab on the side of this one. And then one and two slabs back, followed by two iron trap doors after that. We're going to go then place down a birchwood top slab here. One, two, smooth quartz top slabs back, and then an iron trap door after that. We're going to go and place down another birchwood top slab, cut off this one. A near smooth quartz top slab. And then a second smooth quartz top slab back from that. We're going to place down another birchwood top slab to the side here. Smooth quartz top slab, iron trap door. And we want to go then do a row of three of iron trap doors, followed by a second row of three of iron trap doors directly after those, just like that. And once we have that all done there, that is going to basically do it for what we have here for layer two for the build. Here's what it should look like from up above. So just again, take what we did on the right side here and flip it over to the left side. You'll be pretty much good to go. Anyways, that right there is going to conclude layer two. With that, let's move into layer number one. All right, guys, so going ahead and moving into the drop tank. Now, as I mentioned, the drop tank here is completely optional. Um, so if you did go ahead and put the iron uh, or the end rods right there, we're going to be going ahead and adding this on. So all we need to do here is go ahead and go to these end rods on the bottom here. We're going to place down two smooth quartz full blocks going down from those two end rods. Toward the rear section here, we're going to place down a diorite wall. And then coming off that diorite wall, we're going to place down a skeleton skull. On both sides of this diorite wall, we want to go ahead and place down a birchwood sign. Just like that to both sides. Once we have that done, we want to go ahead and take stone buttons. We're going to place them down the sides here, these two smooth quartz blocks. And we also want to go ahead and place down a row to two of stone buttons here on the bottom of those blocks. After this, we're going to place down a narrow, two sm or a narrow smooth quartz full block. And then a skeleton skull come out that full block there toward the front. And that right there is going to do it for the drop tank on the bottom there. And that's going to conclude what we have there for layer one. With that, let's go ahead and move into layer number two. Alright guys, going ahead and moving into our next layer. We have layer number three for layer three to go ahead and get started with here we're going to place down a black concrete block on top of the smooth quartz top slab and going back from that black concrete block we're going to place down one and two more see so row three here come off that row three toward the front we're going to place down a smooth quartz upside down steer smooth quartz top slab and that right there is going to do it there for the front after that going back from this black concrete block we're going to place down one two three four five six seven eight smooth quartz blocks back smooth quartz upside down stair two smooth quartz top slabs a wither skeleton skull come off that quartz slab and then an iron trap door come out the wither skeleton skull and make sure it's a top of iron trap door like that and not um you know one of the ones on the on the floor there after that we're going to go and then we'll work our way out to the sides we're going to place down a skeleton skull come off the side of this quartz stair we want to go and then grab ourselves polished blackstone and we're going to place down a polished blackstone top slab here to the side of that black concrete block followed by a polished blackstone upside down stair and then a polished blackstone upside down corner stair coming off that stair like that once we have that all done there, we want to go and then take our green terracotta, we're going to place down three blocks back, a yellow concrete block, and we're going to go then place down their green terracotta block, a sandstone wall, and then two direct walls back from the sandstone wall. With that complete, going ahead and uh, move into the wings here. We're going to start off with placing down a daylight detector on top of the slab here, a dark oak wood slab back, and another daylight detector, followed by a row of two of zombie heads on the side of these two blocks like that. We're going to go then uh, grab our daylight detectors here again and uh, also a birchwood slab. We're going to place now a birchwood slab here uh, or sorry actually it's going to be two daylight detectors like that and then a dark oak trap door back from it. We're going to go then place down a birchwood slab followed by a daylight detector and we want to go then place down a dark oak trap door back from the daylight detector. Once we get this done, we're going to then place down another birchwood slab here. A daylight detector going back from that birchwood slab. And we want to go then place down a uh, daylight detector right here. And actually, this right here, this daylight detector is actually going to be a dark oakwood slab instead. So just like that. Once we get to this point, uh, we want to go then take our dark oakwood stairs. We're going to place down two dark oakwood stairs here. And then a corner stair come off that stair like that. We want to go then take our Smooth quartz stairs, you're going to place down a row of three of upside down smooth quartz stairs, come off those dark oakwood stairs. We're going to go then grab ourselves quartz uh, top slabs, and we want to place down a row of three of quartz top slabs, then one in the center, followed by an iron trap door to both sides here. We then want to go and do a row of three of iron trap doors across, and then one right there in the, come off the center, one like that out to the side. Now, uh, once we have that all complete there, uh, on the bottom here, you will notice that a daylight detector does cause this trap door to open. Very simple fix is either change it to night mode, um, or you can go ahead and use the debug stick. So using the command give, uh, we can give ourselves a debug stick, which we can actually use to force the trap door to stay closed. 
So for this, we'll just go ahead and select it and select it all the way until we get to open uh, true. And we'll go ahead and set it to open false. So it closes itself and it basically looks just like that there on the bottom. So kind of two options for you, um, but that one's the better one out of the two. Once we get to this point here, uh, we're gonna then place down a end rod, which is gonna come off of this slab here. And then a chain, which is going to come off this end rod like that. Now over here on the left wing, so when you go ahead and do the left side, the left side only, you're gonna place down an end rod come off this trap door. So this iron trap door here. And again, that's only gonna be on the left side of the aircraft. So looking at it from above here, once you have this layer complete, this is what it should look like. And with that, this layer will be complete. That right there is it for layer three. Let's move on to layer number four. All right, guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number four. For layer four, to go ahead and get started with here, we're gonna go ahead and place down a black concrete block on top of this smooth quartz top slab, just like this. Turn off the black concrete block, going forward and place down an air black concrete block, and then a wither skeleton skull come off of it on the very tip there. We then want to go ahead and go back from this black concrete block here, one, two, three, and four more. So in total, you're going to have a row of six here of black concrete from the nose. We're going to go then place down a green terracotta block, and then at this point right here, you can go and choose to leave a row of three open for a cockpit interior, or you can go ahead and close this off with a row of three of black concrete. Either way will work. Um, I recommend just kind of closing it off, um, as interior really doesn't work too well for these builds. And uh, with that done, uh, we want to go and then take our green terracotta, and we're going to go and continue on going back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight green terracotta blocks back, and then a darker slab. Going back up here to the front here, we're going to then place down a row two of polished blackstone, come off these two black concrete blocks, one, two, three black concrete blocks back, and then a dark oak with trap door to the side of this third block. We then want to take our green terracotta, we're going to go back two blocks, and then one, two, three yellow concrete blocks, narrow green terracotta block, two brick walls, a green or mossy cobblestone wall, then two smooth quartz top slabs back like that. Cut off these two smooth quartz top slabs and place down narrow two out of the side here, followed by two iron trap doors, and then one and two come off this one right here. After we have that all done, we want to go then grab our green carpet and our red carpet. We're going to place down a row of one, two, three green carpet here, then one, two red carpet, one green, and we want to go ahead and then place down two red, one green, three green, and one green like that. And that right there is going to basically do it. what we have here for this layer here, layer number four. And uh, one last thing also is we do want to take some buttons here and do a little bit of uh, decorating here on the side. For this, we're just going to place down two polished black stone buttons on these two black concrete blocks, a dark oak button there, and then also a dark oak button on this uh, center uh, yellow concrete block. And once we have that all done there, that is going to wrap up what we have there for layer number four. And with that, let's go ahead and move into layer number five. All right, guys, moving into our next layer, we'll be moving into layer number five. For layer five, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to go ahead and start off with placing a nice polished black stone slab on top of this black concrete block. After we have that done, we're going to go ahead and then place down a polished black stone stair behind it, and then one, two, and three black concrete blocks back from that stair. We're going to go and then place down a green terracotta block, a row of three of light gray stained glass full blocks, followed by a row of one, two, three, four green terracotta blocks, a dark oak wood stair, and we want to go then place down one, two, and three green terracotta blocks back from the stair. After that's done, go ahead and go back up here to the front. We're going to place down a wither skeleton skull coming off the side of this stair here, a polished black stone slab back, polished black stone stair, and a polished black stone corner stair like that coming off that stair. Once that's done, we're going to then place down a dark oak wood stair here, a birch corner stair coming off that stair, birchwood slab, dark oakwood slab, dark oakwood stair, green terracotta, or sorry, mossy cobblestone wall, and then two brick walls back. After that's done, we want to go and then take a green carpet. We're going to place down one, two, green carpet, or basically green carpet, just on top of all these quartz slabs and iron trap doors there for the horizontal stabilizers. And once we have that all complete there, that is going to wrap up what we have there for layer five. Take the same thing, bring it over the other side, and that's what it should look like from the top down. And uh, with that, let's go ahead and move into our next layer here, layer number six. Okay, let's go ahead and move into our next layer. We have layer number six. For layer six to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to start off by placing down a with, or sorry, narrow brick stair. Or actually, my bad. <laughs> a little ahead of myself there. We're going to go and place down two polished black stone buns on top of these two black concrete blocks, followed by two dark oak with trap doors back, a narrow brick stair, two uh, light, or, uh, light gray stained glass blocks, a green terracotta block, dark oak with stair, dark oak with slab, and then we're going to place down a green terracotta block on top of this one, a second green terracotta block back, and then a mossy cobblestone wall. With that done, again, going back up to the front here, we're going to place down a zombie head coming off the side of the stair, 
two light green or light gray stained glass panes back, and then we're gonna go ahead and then place down a green stained glass pane like that to the side there. And after that, we want to go ahead and also place down a zombie head on top of this mossy cobblestone wall on the side of this or right next to this dark open stair. And with that all complete there, that is going to basically wrap up what we have there for layer six. And with that, we're gonna move into our final layers here. Uh, which will be layers 7 and 8. Alright guys, going ahead and moving into our next layers, we have layers 7 through 8. For these layers to go ahead and get started with, we want to go ahead and go to the top here of the cockpit, and we're going to go ahead and place down two dark oak trapdoors on top of it. We then want to place down a dark oak fence post on top of this green terracotta block. From this, we're going to place down a barrier block back from the fence post, a stone button, and we then want to go ahead and place down a row of two of barrier blocks going back from the stone button. So two back, so like this, and then we're going to go ahead and place down a row of two of stone buttons that are on the side. After that, uh, we want to go ahead and then go up from this barrier block. So up one, and actually, sorry, it's going to be just one back from this barrier block. So just like this, and then a stone button on top there like that. After that, uh, we want to go ahead and place down a mossy cobblestone wall here on this green terracotta block. Green terracotta block here, and an air mossy cobblestone wall. In the center here, we're going to place down a green terracotta block and then a zombie head here on the two sides of it, just like that. And once we have that done, that's pretty much it for our tail there, and that right there is it for the main fuselage. Last thing we have to do here is to go ahead and do the props, and these are real simple. All we're going to do for this is go ahead and go to this black concrete block here. We're going to go ahead and go up in the directions to the sides here with a diagonal of two polished black stone walls going basically uh, diagonal from the corners there of the black concrete blocks. So it's going to be like this, all the way around there for the props there in the front. And we want to go then take a birchwood slab. We're going to go, and go up and out to the sides here with birchwood, birchwood slab, continuing that angle for the props. And just like that, we have the props done. And with that, that will complete my tutorial here for the J2M3 Raiden. Hopefully you guys do enjoy this tutorial. If you guys do end up putting this, or you guys do end up uh, using this, I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it. This can be a thing from us on the build, tweet to my channel or this video if this does appear on your social media sites. As long as you guys give me proper credit for the build, you're free to use your favorite projects you guys are working on. Overall, enjoy the build, have fun with it, and all this, all that fun stuff, and um, everything like that. Again, a big special thanks to Patreon supporter uh, Trench Fighter for making this tutorial possible. And as always, feel free to check out my Patreon page. Link is always in my video descriptions. With that, thank you guys again so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Gear 2x4, and I'll see you guys next time.